Hey guys and welcome back. You know what? There's an interesting function in ClickSense. Most of you will say finally, because if you've been working with SQL, I'm pretty sure you know what the window function does, right? It's finally made its way to Click. Better late than never, I guess, in Click world. They finally got around to it. So let's have a look, okay? So now I have a table here with some data that I've done an inline load on and I'm just gonna reload these things into a table, all right? And I'm just gonna load these columns from my resident table called temp. And I have the order ID, date, amount, quantity, etc. Now, what if I want to, let's say, find the maximum order amount for each of my customer ID? How do I do that? Well, before what you had to do is either in the front end, you would do an aggregate, right? Or over here, what you would do is you would say, join this particular table. What do you want to left join? Well, you would say load the customer ID and find the max of the amount as max amount resident temp and group by the customer ID, right? That's what you wanted to do. Well, you want, you want to group all your customer ID and then find the max for that particular customer ID. This is what you had to do, right, before. <laughs> I mean, super cumbersome. So let's just load it just for the sake of it. Add a table and over here, I'm gonna say customer ID, get and, and now I can add the max amount that I've calculated, right? But there's a better way. Finally, Click has got around to it. So what does the window function do? So basically what it does is it creates a window. That is, it takes your data, right? It takes your data here and then creates a partition based on what you say. In the in our case, we want it to create a partition for all the customer ID. That is basically your group by, right? You're creating a subset of the data based on your group by. And in this window function, we call it partition. And then in that frame, we create an aggregate. So in our case here, we, we don't have to do all of these hoopla, right? Just freaking remove this. And instead, all we say is, hey, now use the window function. I want the max, that's my aggregation for the column amount. And I want this to be done that is grouped by what is my partition, what we call in window customer ID. Good. And I give it a name. So let's say max per customer and you press enter. And now what click has done is it's loaded the data. It's created a little partition with our customer ID that is basically like group by or even aggregate, right? And it has found the maximum amount and saved it for each of the rows. So it creates a new column here by creating a partition and aggregating whatever you've asked it to aggregate. Perfect. So now we have loaded it. Let's go in to the front end. Here we have max per customer is the same. Fantastic. So let's add some more columns here, right? Let's add our ID, our order IDs, order date. So now I've added a bunch of other columns. If I wanted to do the same thing, that is find the maximum here in the front end, what would I do? I would go into measure. I would say max of amount aggregated for customer ID, right? I would do this and I would click on enter. And now I have, and if you see here, that's exactly what we have calculated already in the back end. So. Fantastic. So that's how window functions works. I hope it's quite clear. It can be super helpful, like really, really, really helpful. Instead of doing complicated aggregations in the front end, you could really simplify it by doing a lot of the calculations in the back end using the window functions. Let's have a look at the, another one. In case we want average, I just say average of my amount per customer ID. And I can also give the partition different values for example i can say not just with customer id but i want to find the average for that customer id and for and also based on the color code <laughs> really weird names but yeah whatever and how do we check if this is actually correct well let's add another column here called amount that finds the average so we have it here so you see that the average is not the same but now let's select a customer and oops, we don't have different color ID here. So let's say color. 
good and the average for this for one particular curl that they have actually ordered is 273 so you have that here so you can keep adding more partitions for example if you want to find the average salary for a particular department in a particular country in a particular region whatever right so these are the things that you could actually easily do in the back end using the window function let's have a look at some more things that you could do so you could also use conditions for example only do this window function if a particular condition is met so in this case i'm going to say hey find the average only if the color code is equal to red back here and i say is this one and you see that it has actually calculated it only when the color code for that particular order is placed for red in the other cases there's just a blank if you know sql well you know that you could actually use it uh, in a much more complicated way that is you could say only calculate create a partition from the current row where you are to maybe two rows above two rows below and create another partition there and find an aggregate for it so there's so many things you could do so you could also write if statements here when you're already doing the aggregate and the back end so i could say something like if the max amount for per customer that is you group by customers and if the max amount is more than 500 then top customers otherwise medium so you could do this here instead of having to do it in the front end with an aggregate and if statement right because that would be way more complicated so these are the things you could do so it's pretty straightforward i think so try it out if you want me to do more videos on it um, just let me know and um, yeah i hope you have fun all this and way more cheat codes in the cheat sheet out and please leave a like super super appreciate it see you in the next one peace